This class is all about creativity. It's time for a creativity project to apply what you've learned so far. So we've just finished It's Raining Shapes and now it's time for a creativity project. Creativity projects help you to use the skills you just learned in your own creative way. So this is the It's Raining Shapes project. And we did a little bit of creativity in here. We made a BB-8 and some other characters, as you can see. And the next project, I want you to use the skills you learned to first make this. And I'm gonna let this run for a couple times. This is called Towers. So you can see, this looks very complicated, but it's actually not. It's a couple towers overlapping each other. And the towers are different heights. So this height, this height, and this height. I actually have four different towers that overlap each other. So you can see they're made of a bunch of cubes that are stacked tall. And then one tall cube on the other side of it. So how could you actually make that? I want you to think about it and actually try to make that. And here are some hints. So on our class page, I have the tower there for you to try to look at it. <clears throat> but you can see here, number one, I have four towers of cubes connected. Below is one of the towers I built. So you can see I first built one tower. You're gonna use parenting and hierarchy. You can see if I simply count the number of cubes high, I can have those. And then I can take one cube and stretch it all the way across the top. So that's how I made one tower. And if I have one tower, if you look at this up here, I have one tower here, two, three, four. How could I manipulate these or rotate these guys to try to make this and have a ball come through and do it? So that's the first part. You have to figure out how am I gonna make this based on my hints. Again, here you can see, how can I use the hierarchy to build this tower with parents and children? Once I have one tower built, how could I copy and make the appropriate changes the easiest. And then also, how many cubes make up the height of each of the four towers? You can kind of watch my simulation there. The second part of this project is this. You're going to create your own little building that's also gonna get hit by the cannonball. So you can see I have a couple student examples here. Again, it's your creativity. You have like a skyscraper, you have here, they have like a tower. This is the Parthenon. Someone made a house over here. Someone made a bunch of stuff. Like this is like a, a triple tower. So again, you can kind of look on Google. This is the Parthenon. This is like a tower. Um, just look for buildings. And if you like, see one you like, try to make it or design it using the steps we have. And again, you have inspiration here. The one thing I have not shown you how to do is how to actually add the ball to smash through these things. So let me just quickly show you that. And the rest of this is going to be on your own. All the skills I've taught you before, inside of here, the exact same thing, apply them in this creativity project. So first, let's go ahead and we're gonna go to assets, I have scenes, and I'm gonna create a new scene. And I'm gonna call that scene Cannonball. I'm gonna double click on this scene to start it. Now, if I double click back on this, this is our It's Raining Shapes. So you can have multiple scenes in one project. So I have my cannonball scene here. All right, first thing I need, I know I need a plane. So I'm gonna do 3D object and I'm gonna do plane. Here's my plane. Now, again, I need a ball that's gonna fly through the screen. Well, ball is simply made of 3D object and that is a spear. So this spear, I'm just gonna move it over here. And again, on this, I'm gonna build out these towers. But let's actually look at the student examples. This is my plane at the bottom. I have the towers here, and then I have another building. Or I have the towers here, and I have another building. This is what you're gonna build. But I'm just gonna simply show you here how to show the ball. This student actually put two balls in there. Again, use your creativity. So how do I get this ball? to move through the screen. Well, in VR, again, we add our game object here. We can move around here, but I want it to move by itself. Anytime I wanna modify 
this 3D object, I need to look at my inspector. So I have these things, but I want to add force to it. So if I want to add force, what can I do? Let's see, if I type force, well, you can see we have a constant force. Force is like if you push something, you're exerting a force on it. So if I wanted to push it in a direction like this, I want to add a constant force. So I'm going to click on this and select constant force. Now, you can see it has force, related force, torque, related speed. For each one of these, we have x, y, and z. So how do we figure out which way do we push? We need to use a gizmos up here. If I want the ball to push this way, well, which arrow is this currently? This is the red arrow. If you look up here, it is x. If I want it to go that way, that is the blue arrow. And you see that is Z. If I want it to go up, that is Y. So let's just play with this. Let's see if I want it to go that way. Again, that is Z right up here. So I'm going to just say add a constant force. So let's just say 10. Press enter. Let's press play and see what happens. So you can see it goes, but it kind of falls down. Well, why is it falling down? So if you push something, does it continue? Well, there's this force called gravity and we have that right here, rigid body. So, so I'm actually going to see our rigid body here and you see you have used gravity. I'm gonna turn gravity off. That way my ball pushes directly through. So let's try it now and see what happens. And let's look at our camera. Our camera's right there. I wanna bring my camera over here and bring it up. Okay, now I'm gonna click on my ball, let's press play. You can also see the position over here in your inspector. Look at my Z value. It's constantly moving. Because I turned gravity off, it's continue to move. It's moving all the way over there. And the reason it's moving, so I'm gonna pause it. You can see it's currently at 684. If I unpause it, now it's at 700. So it's gonna constantly move that way. That's because I gave it a constant force of 10. And again, if you look up here, Z is blue. If I want it to go up, let's just say that I would take 10 off of Z and let's just say 10 for Y. Now let's press play and we should see this fly up to the sky. There you go. And you can see right here, it is constantly changing. I'm gonna pause it. This is showing that it's at 189. Push pause again, now it's at 284. So the way to get your ball to move in the direction that you want it and smash through the four towers in your own creative building is to look at which direction you want your ball to go. And actually I would give it a faster force than 10. So I'm gonna change this. I want it to go this way. That way is red, red is X. So I'm going to give it a constant force of let's just say 50. Let's see how fast this thing goes. So you can see it went really fast and here my X value is actually changing. If you want to do the effect where it's going each way, so let's just say I have another ball. And I bring it up. And I want it to go here and collide with this ball. If I wanted to go this way, I need to first add constant force. When I do that, it adds a rigid body, but make sure you turn off gravity. So now X is this way. It's red, but I want it to go this way. How do I do that? I still need to change the X value. But if X is going this way positive, I simply go negative. So I can make this value negative 50. So now we have two balls that are gonna collide or maybe miss each other, but this is the only step you need to kind of do it. Let's test it to see. You can see they kind of hit each other. And if I pause it, this ball is at negative 603. The positive ball is at 657. I let it unpause and play some more. The positive ball right now 
if I just select it and I do F, it's way over here at 1167. If I click the negative one and I click F on my keyboard, this is the negative ball, is that negative this? So again, let's just play it one more time. So I'm gonna click on my plane and do F to recenter. I'm gonna press play. You can see they're fine. To get to this, the one thing you need to do is add a spear and add constant force in the direction x, y, or z. It's not going to be y. You're not going to fly something up. But depending on where your ball is, you're going to add a force of about 50 to smash through the buildings that you make. So in this creativity project, first step is to try to build this. Look at the hints I've given you. Look at the one tower that I built. Read through these questions, and then you should be able to make something very simple like this. Then you will expand your plane at the bottom so you can make a building of your choice. And I've given you a bunch of kind of examples here. Again, creativity project is about you. So you don't have to match what they have here. Build something very unique that you would like. Go ahead and get started. Once you complete this assignment, don't forget to save this document and then turn it into your teacher.